I wonder if it would be considered breaking the law. It's breaking the law. I know it's breaking in you know code of ethics and yeah. No, it's you're breaking into somebody's house. You are entering when you're in unauthorized. The story goes. And Robbie's gonna put a little clip. And we have proof of this. We have proof. For those of you who are committing this crime. Right. And the clips clearly show this particular property of ours, a listing of ours, which was really busy with appointments on the weekend. There was an appointment scheduled from 1115 to 1145. There was a gap. There was a previous appointment scheduled a little bit earlier in the morning, and there was a gap between the two appointments. And I got a notification that somebody was at the property. Appointment was for 11.15 to 11.45. The agent showed up with their clients, got the keys, and entered the property at 10.51. Sorry, the the appointment was 11.45? Sorry, 11.15. 11.15. Remember you saying that? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. So 11.15, they and entered. The, so they, yeah, they entered at 10.51. Half an hour. And the appointment was 11.15. Okay. So half an hour early. More. Half an hour early. Yeah. And you can see from the camera on the porch that she enters in and must have said hello and stood in the foyer for about five minutes, because she probably heard the Sono speakers that we have playing. And thought somebody was home. She thought she was busted. Yeah. So what if somebody was home? Right. And this was not a vacant home. This was a occupied property. S- you see, not I, that it makes a difference. I think she thought that it's vacant because the sellers actually did move out during this period. They were staying at families' homes. Right also means we can auto-confirm showings. Well, oftentimes when we get an auto-confirmation, it's on vacant homes. Right. So I'm assuming that she was assuming that the property was vacant. I don't know what they were thinking, but they went into the property a half an hour early. Now, in a normal scenario where there's a showing first thing in the morning, there's a gap, And then another showing. Sometimes people will just go for a walk around the block. And when the showing is done, go back in, maybe have some breakfast or get changed, have a shower, do those kind of things. Mm -hmm. How do you know that nobody was in there? Right. And And it's irrelevant, though. it, It is irrelevant because you are not entitled to enter the property, period. Your window was 1115 to 1145. If you're going to be earlier than 1115, call the realtor. When do you think it's acceptable acceptable to go in without calling the agent? If my appointment's at 1115? Yeah. 1114. Yeah. For me, it's like two to three minutes. That's yeah. reasonable. That's... Uh, literally five minutes and I'll, fo- I'll phone them. You... You have to. Yeah. You are not authorized to be in that house. I actually... Period. Just a couple days... Stay out. A couple days Go before... Go for a walk. A couple days... Sit in your car. A couple days before that, we had another listing out in Mississauga, and I got a call from an agent, and he was saying, hey, I can't find the lockbox. And, you know, so I was... I was... Uh, what did I say to him? Oh, I said, look at Broker Bay the broker bay instructions, there's a photo of the lockbox and instructions on where to find it. Yeah. And he said, well, I can't see the instructions. I said, why is that? He said, oh, because my appointment um, ended a half hour ago. And I said, well, then you're not allowed. So he's calling because he can't find the lockbox. Yes. The instructions disappeared. So I didn't know that. I don't use the broker bay app. I just copy and paste it into my calendar. Right. But yeah, I guess so in the Broker Bay app, yes. after your appointment, Correct. everything disappears. Right. So he wasn't because able... theoretically, you do not need it right. after, that, exactly. after that time. Yeah. So he uh, informed me that, oh, my appointment ended 30 minutes ago. I'm like, well, you know, I can't have this conversation with you. Like, you, you need to reschedule the appointment. You're not allowed in there after your appointment. 
So he did. He rescheduled it. Um, but people just assume they can do what they want. That one was vacant, so he and he knew that, so he just assumed, oh, it's uh, vacant, so I can go. But maybe not. Maybe we don't want overlapping showings, or maybe maybe there's a contractor going in at that time, and we don't want you in there. Or maybe we just don't want you in there because you're not supposed to be there. Yeah. So and there's other instances I've had people there's, come. There's liability issues. Yeah. I've had people come on the wrong day. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but they'd come back for another visit. So... What's reasonable? Within a couple of minutes, nobody's going to get irate. No. Same thing for your exit time. If your showing is 11.15 to 11.45, if you go beyond 11.46, 11.47 in the house, you better call the listing agent and say, hey, my clients really love this property they would like to spend a little bit more time here. Our showing is done. Is that okay? Yeah, exactly. And if not, or if you don't get a response, it doesn't mean that you can just hang out there until you get a call back. No, you get can't out. even hang out in the backyard. You got to get off the, off property. the property. Go to the sidewalk, go the to road, the sidewalk, go, sit go in your to car, your car, whatever. You got right. to get, get away from the go property. Go to Tim Hortons. I don't care. You are not authorized. GTFO. That's right. So, for all of you realtors that are listening, do better. Oh, the, the other sellers. thing that drives me crazy, which is equally as annoying, not as legally as bad, but um, is when people just don't show up. So that... Oh, so interesting you should say that. Okay, hang on, hang on. Remember what you're going to say. So going back to that same house, that same property in Mississauga... We were trying to figure out, well, where the heck did the lockbox go? I know we've had dozens of showings. There was another showing just a little bit before this showing. So I called that agent, and I'm like, hey, did you get in okay? Because we can't find the lockbox. And he said, oh, no, I decided not to go. We were too busy. Right. Like, Have where's the, the common, common courtesy. courtesy? Yeah. Let us know. The other thing that's happening. And just so everyone knows, we weren't incompetent property manager removed, accidentally removed our lockbox, even though it was registered with the property management company. So we got it back the next day. How did they, oh, they had the code? I guess so, because, yes, so our realtor you have to register had to register. He did it in person with the this manager. Concierge. Who, who, whomever. Whatever. Yes, and there was about a dozen lockboxes removed. So the other thing you realtors are doing that are pissing me off right now is you're scheduling showings, not showing up, canceling them. After the showing. No, no. Okay, maybe I am misleading you by saying not showing up. Book a showing, cancel it, and the only reason they're doing that is to get notifications of offers. Well... There are more ways than that to get notifications of offers. So what are you doing now to the seller? You're saying, oh, I'm going to show your home. Oh, no, I'm not. And the excuses will reschedule because that's one of the three drop-down options, right? Yeah. We'll reschedule. Well, then the seller is left asking their agent, their realtor, why they book? Why they cancel? Why they cancel? Waste everybody's when time. When are they coming back? Yes. And then when you call these realtors to ask what's up, they give you some fluff story. Like don't they don't even tell the truth? Right. Just say, oh, I was doing it because I want to be notified of. If you're of actually, offers. but if you want to do that, there are options. Or send me an email. Send me a text. Just yeah. say, hey, my clients are really interested in this property. We'd like to be updated on offers. That legally binds me in our code of ethics to say I have to notify any interested parties yes. in the event an offer presentation is happening. 